man. Bastards. I don't know what spooked him. Car driving by, I suppose. So what's going on, everybody? Um, today, I am working on building my grass mats for duck hunting. And let's get this unfolded. So basically what I've done, I went down to Home Depot, got a roll of the green kind of snow fencing style fence material. It's the one inch squared plastic fence. It's four foot by 25 feet I believe and I think you can get the roll I want to say it's like 12 or 13 bucks maybe it was 15 I don't quite remember now but I've been using the palm mats and these work really good as far as concealment goes um, they're pretty nice you can pick uh, four of them up for about I think 60 to 80 bucks um, depending on where you get them and they're like they're like four by four or four by five but the problem that I'm running into with these is that after one good hard season of hunting and them getting wet um, they're falling apart and they're heavy so when you're out on a kayak and you got to carry you know four or five of these things to conceal your kayak and yourself uh, they get wet they start falling apart and they're just, I don't know, they're just they're just bulky, heavy, and uh, they just, they don't last that long. So, you know, if you're having to go through <clears throat> a few hundred dollars worth of these a season between you and your buddies, um, you know, that it, it gets pretty expensive. So, what I started doing was making these, uh, these little gilly grass mats, and uh, you just basically weave them inside of the... Uh, inside of the plastic fencing he just basically half hitch them through the loops so but anyhow i'll show you guys uh, a little better closer up of how i'm making these It's the first ducks I've seen. So this one, I started noticing that they were getting pretty heavy and thick, and this one I actually, I went every other notch on the, uh, the web of the, uh, the fencing here, and I was spacing them out about six, six spaces, um, and then you just stagger them, you just alternate, and uh, I'm finding out that I'm using a lot less of the, uh, the raffia grass. And I'm still getting pretty good coverage. I mean, if you look at that, I think it turned out pretty good. It's got enough coverage. Um, this upper spot here, there's a little bit of this, this webbing showing through. So I might go back and, and fill maybe this very top part, fill that completely in, um, just so this isn't exposed. And then another thing that I do that I forgot to mention earlier is that on the top of these I like to get some pipe insulation and uh, I take some electric fence wiring I think it's like 14 gauge you can get stiffer stuff but um, I double it back and forth about five or six times to create a wire inside of that insulation and cable tie it to the mat 
then I put the insulation over it, of course. But uh, what this allows you to do is, is that you can kind of you can kind of bend this into a shape that you want, and it kind of holds. So you know, if you're trying to form it over something to kind of give it some shape, um, it kind of helps with that. And the other thing that's nice is that when you're laying down, if you're trying to use these to cover up, and you got them right up to your face, um, you don't have these sharp edges poking you in the face, and it just kind of gives you something to hold on to. So that's kind of one of those things that uh, it's just a little bit of added convenience, a little more comfort and stuff. But um, same thing, you can wrap some grass around this. I haven't really felt the need to. It's, it's a little shiny, but uh, generally I have overlapping uh, mats. So I'm not too concerned with, with those showing. But anyhow, let's. Uh, I'm going to drive out in my field here with a kayak and cover it up. And uh, we'll see uh, how well these conceal it.